Welcome to another edition of Golden Boy Insider. I'm your host, Pepper Duran. We take you behind the scenes with the fighters, just get to know them a little bit better without asking, how do you feel? How was camp? Oh, what do we expect on Saturday? And Marlene, as far as is today's guest, and Marlene's already snickering like, if I hear that question <laughs> another time. Everyone's favorite question. Right? It's like, but, how am I supposed to feel? It's like, I'm fighting. <laughs> like, I feel terrible. How was camp? Sucked. <laughs> yeah. How was the wait? Over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like zero positivity. He's like, okay, you already know the answer. I feel great. Yeah. And, you, I think for you it was different that you were an Olympian and you, you went through a little bit of media training, right? A little some of that stuff. And it's like, damn, I'm ready for doing this. And also they still ask the same questions every single week. Something like that. It's more about just understanding there's ways to go about questions. Yeah. Keep it simple. And then uh, and then you become a broadcaster, then you're like, you're doing the same exact thing. Oh my <laughs> gosh. But broadcasting so much fun. No, it's way different because you could kind of do a little bit overboard. You can kind of go with whatever direction you want. You don't have to. Pick a side. You can yeah. just have fun. See, you and I have done a couple of fights together, and it's fun working with you. And because I love hearing your perspective on it, because like I said, I've never been in a ring. I've never been hit. I don't <laughs> want to. I mean, I'm not going to like wood. Uh, but it's fun to hear a fighter talk about it who enjoys doing it. And because right. a lot of people get in there, and they're like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then they start bashing everybody. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, don't you remember that you're also in the ring, and it's not that easy? Right. I, yeah, because a lot of people, when they commentate or fighters, they try to go more in the direction of, what they like and don't like and yeah. more biased, um, but don't re actually st stick to like a, the yeah. skill set and what we are actually learning when we're fighting. I worked with one guy once who, uh, I'm like saying any names or anything like that, and I, like I said, I only worked with him once because he never did it again, where he was just like ripping the fight. And I'm like, <laughs> hey man, okay, cool. So he's like, he should be doing this, he should be doing that. So I, I, simple question, and I wasn't being a jerk about it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, why don't you think he's doing it? I don't know. Yeah, because like, you being here is probably not that easy. Yeah. And he's yeah. Like, well, if I was like, okay, what would you do if you were in there? He goes, oh, I would be doing this. I'll be doing that. And I was like, well, have you ever been in a fight where your plan doesn't work? Nah, it's not, never been like that for me. I'm like, okay. Oh, really? The first boxer on the planet and I'm like, that, okay. where everything just works out as perfectly as possible. And, and then, uh, so he's like, he's not listening to his coach. So I, I followed up with, have you ever been in a situation where you don't listen to your coach? Nah, you can't. My coach will I'm like, wow, this is not going good right here. Yeah, we don't know how to stray this any other way. So, okay. Just yeah, change the subject. Yeah, because you always listen to your coach, right? Yes. <laughs> Back to great conversations. Here's the camera. Ready? Back to great interviews. Yes. Uh, Marlene, Absolutely. Um, I always listen to my. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll, this will be the clip for the Instagram. Marlene, you always listen to your coach, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. I do, for the most part, I do. I want to cover that up a little, a little bit. But yeah, it's impossible, though, to actually listen to your coach all the time. But kind of. Do you? OK, this is just a stupid question. Yeah, I'm full of stupid <laughs> questions with you because I've known you for so long. We're cool. Um, has there ever been a moment where you're in a fight and your coach is talking between rounds and you don't hear anything he said? No, that is not. So that is not one thing that I do. Well, I actually in the corner, I do listen. It's more of like outside. Everything kind of gets. Okay. Or like during training, there's certain things where I'm like, I cannot pull that off, like at all. Or in the corner, sometimes when I'm training, it'll be like, I get stuck on the first thing he says, so the rest I don't hear, like uh -huh. he said. But it's in the fight, now I'm pretty like, help me, okay. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Like, I need you to please help me. What is going on? Like, that is really what it feels like. Like, you're my only lifeline right now. Because whatever's not working out, you need to let me know. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, please let me know. That's cool. Save this fight for me. That's really how it feels when, in the fight. Right. So, okay, here, switch it up a little bit. Forget the boxing. You're a mother of a three-year-old. I am. Awesome kid. Great right? kid. Uh, what is he watching that's annoying you? Oh, See, right for now, me, back in my day, my son was young. It was Thomas the Train, right? And I was like, oh, he's like, choo, choo, choo. I was like, oh, my God. But it would calm him down. So I had to deal with it. I can't remember the name of, of one of the things, but it, he'll never get over the movie Frozen. Still? Still. I asked you this question three years ago. I know, I know. And that's, the, that's what's they annoying. They move on every three months. No, 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 not with this movie. He'll, he'll switch with all the other things that are also, some things can be very annoying, but it's the fact that he will not get over Frozen. He has the biggest crush on Elsa, <laughs> and he just won't stop with that movie. And if I, I know every sin, like I know it Dude, by heart and it goes makes me go crazy because he just won't get over that movie do you wanna build snowman 
<laughs> no, it's and he likes the second one too, so it's like there's a frozen two. Yes, there is. Oh, a I'm frozen glad my two. daughter outgrew that there, one. I there is frozen a frozen two. two, so I think that's the what's annoying. But he loves Elsa. Hey, he loves Elsa. <laughs> you play uh, the, the song in the car. Oh no, absolutely not. We're not. Oh no. no. Oh, look at you, disciplinarian. No, no, no okay. we're not doing that. We will talk about what we see and things like that, or you know, if I have to make calls and stuff. But no. Because if I need to make a call later on and I'm in the car and he's just doesn't learn to like okay. be quiet, all right, then all right, all right. see that's to... that boxing discipline. Boom. <laughs> well, no, 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 that's in the like car. work discipline. This is what yeah. that is. It's like, look, we know I know I only have this amount of time to do certain things. So, but do you have the frozen songs on your phone? I do. Yeah. I do have the frozen songs on my phone. And then he has his his uh his laptop or whatever that he yeah. takes with him and all Elsa games. And have everything. you ever been running? And you're like in the zone, and you know, you're, no, it's like shuffle, and all of a sudden it pops up. No, no, that has never happened. That's oh, yeah, me, me either, me either. Yeah, it never happened. Has that happened to you? Dude, I don't know how to. Do, okay, it's because so, you probably had like the the yeah. little iPod thing that shuffles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah I, I use my I, phone. I don't know how to delete songs from my phone, like on my iTunes. I don't know how to delete stuff, right? So it. Okay, I'm, I'm sounding like a band in his 40s who doesn't know yeah. what he's doing, right? So they pops up. I've had the Frozen soundtrack on my phone. I'm, I just admitted that. Wow. You just you should make playlists. And then you only listen to the playlist instead of having to shuffle through your entire I really album. am sounding like an old man. Just like make that. a playlist. They're problem solved. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not going to run anymore. Forget this, kid. <laughs> You'll be uh, all right. Do you, uh, when he, you take him to school, do like other moms talk to you and be like, oh, hey, I'm going to go to work. What do you say? You know what? I'm going to beat somebody up. <laughs> you know what? Um, I don't know what it is about me, but <laughs> nobody <laughs> talks to me. <laughs> no, nobody talks to me. I'm like the like the one mom where I don't even know if they think maybe he's not mine or like I just draw him off. <laughs> no, seriously, because because he's like white complected and then like I do look younger, but everyone's just like never talks to me. They all talk to each other, but no one speaks to me, and I don't really. I'm like, well, I got play, I got somewhere to be, so I'm just gonna go ahead so and mind my business. Do they even know like what you do? The people that are like actually out of school and stuff, yeah. yes, but the Your moms mom? and stuff, I don't, I don't think so. Moms? I mean, I have no idea. They you, might. You know what might. I'm talking about, right? You know yeah, the group I of know. moms where they're they, standing there with their, their Starbucks. Yes. And yeah. then they're just <laughs> gossiping. Like, don't you have somewhere to go? Like, no, they and, might. And they're all in their workout gear. No, they might. They might, but I'm not sure. That would have to be something that I would not know about at all. But the teachers know what you do? Yeah, everybody knows. That's that. cool. Especially because it's just like no, because so because you're, you're also very reserved, and I know you don't tell people, hey, I'm going to go knock somebody out. No, not at all. It just comes up when, like, I have to, like, leave for a certain time or schedule's different. Right. Um, you know, they're like, what is it that you do again? Because I'm always in workout clothes. Yeah. I'm always running around. So, like, yeah, uh, it comes up. Peloton, like, oh, yeah, Peloton. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I remember the first time I told them they were like, really? I was like, yeah. yeah. They did, like, a watch party there and everything. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They do watch parties, like, together, like, the staff and stuff. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're they're, uh, they're they're good people. They're big fans. But the moms, I don't know if they like me or not. <laughs> I've never talked to anybody. <laughs> I like so, you, Laura. <laughs> I know, right? As long as I know, it's, it's the thing. Is every single time we do interview, it's always like, I don't know why I don't like me. <laughs> I don't know what I do. It's my face. It's my face. No, seriously. Um, I was wearing like fake glasses for uh, a photo shoot that I had to do for like, I don't know, whatever. And um, I was wearing glasses and the frames, just the frames, was, like it was, they weren't real prescribed. And people started being nicer to me, I realized. Because I was like, oh, these are, these are cute. So I started wearing them around. And then I realized that just random people were, like, really nice to me. And I was like, is this what it feels like all this time that people are actually, like, talking to me when you, I don't you know them? Pair? Cause I, I, I started wearing them, like, religiously, like, everywhere, even during my workouts and stuff. And people were really nice to me. And I learned, like, it's really, I think it's just my face. Like if I put the glasses, Aww, no, my like that. my like my resting B face, like the way I just sit there, it's like, oh, it okay. looks like rude. But whenever I have the glasses on, people are like really, really nice to me. So it's now I know like look, I don't want any smoke today. It's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's glasses day, a thousand percent. I swear, that's what hap that is my life now. But I'm glad I learned it. Hey, <laughs> give that sponsorship, girl. Yeah, <laughs> no, that sponsorship. For... All right, last one. What's this tattoo on your hand right here? This What's that? Yeah, show the camera. What is that? It means love. I have a bunch of tattoos. On your hands, you do, right? Yeah, I have a bunch. I, I swear, because I haven't seen you in a while. I oh, swear, yeah, I no, thought they were like markers from the kid. No, you know, when you, when you were like coloring a, with the kid? Yeah, I'm like I'm a tattoo addict. Though. What happened to you? So I've always had them. People I know you've like, know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 
I, when I started getting them, I only got them around my hands because all the photo shoots I would do, my hand wraps were always on. Oh. So people wouldn't really catch them very much. You're right. I'm, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And then, so anything like here, people don't really notice. Okay. So, so here's the camera. Have, what do we got? Um, so here, I have the, I have winning because when I was, because uh, I would win a lot. <laughs> I win a lot. Uh, people used to boo me because I would start, like, they wanted to see me lose. So I got winning on my hand and I would tell everybody to stop it. Yeah. And then uh, sacrifice, just because, you know, I feel like that's what I live by. <laughs> sacrifice. Right. It's my son's initial with my M and S with the heart. Um, then I have the cross for when I pray. Then I have the, I got the three stars because it's kind of like Houston, but everybody has the one like lone star thing and I didn't like that. So I got three. Um, and I got uh, let it hurt. But let it go because that's a big part of boxing. You gotta just let it, let things, let things ride, so you can perform better. I have MMG. It's the same. It's a. They're the initials of the of what I say to myself. I can't tell anybody. Okay. It's a secret. Um, and then a heart, um, a lock with the um, with the heartbeat. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I have a lot. I have tons. Yeah, I yeah. never really know. You're right. A, you always have your hand yeah, I have there. AU one twelve right here. That means it's for the periodic table gold and it said the atomic number I have my weight class and then i have the olympic the olympic greens yeah. i have um i mean i have a, I have a bunch of stuff Dude, i like the winning one though yeah the, you got that as an amateur right yeah i got that to tell people to because <laughs> i got tired of being booed and i couldn't like flick anybody off so <laughs> it was the easiest way to say my piece it's like oh you're number one yeah yeah winning <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't boo me now. That's it. How old were you when you got the first tattoo? Um, I was 16 when I got my right. first tattoo. There it is. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. See, I told you we're always going to have fun. I know. We're, we're always going to have something to say there. once we get somewhere. Yeah. Well, because before she came in, she's like, you know, Beth, I don't think I have anything for you. I'm like, Farley, we're going to get something. I, I didn't think so. I was like, yeah, you're, done. You know? you're just boxy. Hey, can I get a pair of shades, though? Yes, but I, they're but they're not shades. They're just the glasses. Well, it's the glasses with lenses, but they're not. Pres they, well, there's not prescription. Give it to me because the other day I, I went on Twitter and put my name in there. Wow! Don't ever oh, do yeah. that, people. <laughs> you should try it. I bet you people start being nice to you. Yeah, bring the glasses to the okay. first time. I'm ready to go, you know? <laughs> forget the LASIK. Uh, yeah, forget you. I don't care if you're nice to me. <laughs> just follow me. Uh, <laughs> right? Or as far as we'll see you Saturday. Good luck to you as the Thank ring you. championship belt is on the yes. line for the first time ever an opportunity to win the ring belt at 112 pounds so history will and the remain. wba and the wbc all together yeah See, so that, is, don't forget this, this don't forget the wba hey, belt don't hold on. this is why you're my broadcast partner we're a team i set one up and you <laughs> yes. came in with the other one so the ring belt on the line as is the wba and the wbc that's right saturday live on the zone marlena sparza you'll see her in the ring in san antonio another good edition of golden boy insider make sure you rate review subscribe i'm your host Duffy Duran. Thank you.